What's up guys, Grim here, playing the Elementalist Mage for you once again, and this is the one button spamming mage that you guys have seen me run with quite a few times. It's super easy to use and anybody can do it and kill lots and lots of people. And if you're interested in making this build, there will be a link at the end of the video for my guide video on how to make this build and dominate as well so as you can tell I'm commentating this after the fact because I didn't record myself while this match was going on unfortunately so hopefully you guys will bear with me and I'm in this match with a guildy of mine vetman so hopefully he does well as as well as I do so yeah, let's go ahead and talk about what's on my mind. Uh, the PvP Dimension Tournament held by Godlike Awesomeness is coming up on May the 10th at 6.30 server time. And this is the second edition of this and they have asked me to commentate it once again. Which I'm very happy to do and I'm very happy that they even considered me for a second time. Apparently everybody really liked my commentary the first time and I was surprised at that to say the least because it was such a last minute thing I did not think I was going to do alright and I wasn't even sure I was doing alright during the commentating whenever it was happening but I'll go ahead and tell that story now I figure people would like to hear it and I've never really told it before so what was happening is they were trying to get people to commentate this and live stream this PvP Dimension Tournament that they were wanting to hold. And they were asking around to all the PvE content creators. So a lot of these guys weren't even PvPers or anything like that. But they were well known people. As in the PvE content creators of Rift are the majority. There is just a lot more PvEers in Rift than there is PvPers. So they were asking around to all those guys and pretty much I think a lot of them realized that it wasn't their familiar ground. It's kind of like asking me to commentate a raid. Yes I know how raids are done. I've done raids before. But I wouldn't have the foggiest of ideas what I was talking about really whenever watching a raid in Rift because I don't do them. And so they finally got one PvE content creator, uh, Rough Raptors, to agree to live stream it. But I guess they were under the impression that he wasn't going to commentate it. So they were trying to figure out who was going to commentate it. Because if you've ever watched Rough Raptors live streams, you know that he really doesn't talk very much. He's basically showing his gameplay and that's it. There's no real trying to entertain you or uh, anything like that. He's, he's just one of those guys, he's showing high level raid content and you're watching for that. So they needed somebody to commentate it and all the PvE content creators were saying no and I guess they eventually started asking some PvP people that were they were familiar with such as Noobzilla. Well once they asked Noobzilla he said that he was busy I guess and but he referred them to me and they had never even heard of me because even though I was getting pretty high views on all of my videos on YouTube I was still, you know, I was still only around 500 subscribers or so, so I was on the low end of the totem pole whenever it came to subscribers, and also I was a newer channel, so a lot of people didn't know about me. And they still don't know about me too much, they're getting to know me as it goes along. But once they watched my videos, they seen that I was making content on all four classes and PvP'd all the time and stuff, and they thought, okay, this is hopefully our guy. They went in and asked me and I accepted. And I said, okay, when is this taking place? They said, later today. So you can imagine me going, oh my gosh, because I've got to prepare for a few hours of commentating with no preparation at all. I asked for uh, the names of the teams and who all was competing and their classes and all that. 
But the hosts were so busy doing the setup of everything, and it was the day of the event, so they were busy setting up that they never were able to get me all that information. Not to mention the teams were changing even up to the time that the tournament happened. There was people that didn't show up, and there was late replacements and all that stuff. So basically, I was going into it not knowing who was on what teams, what their classes were, nothing. And I was trying to commentate from a distance. So it was hard to tell what was going on. I couldn't even see the CCs. A lot of the times, I wasn't even sure if the person I was saying was hitting the other person was actually not teammates and stuff like that. I had to go, oh my gosh, am I... Am I saying uh, so-and-so is hitting so-and-so whenever they're teammates? I mean, that's what it looks like from afar, but I couldn't tell, you know, because I didn't know the teams. I didn't know what was going on, really. So I was doing my best I could, but, yeah, that was why sometimes the commentary got a little bit bland and sometimes I got a little bit silent is because I was trying to figure out who was on whose team and what was going on. So, yeah, it was a very chaotic commentary, and sometimes I just had to choose to be quiet in my commentary rather than say something stupid. And I hope you guys, it seemed like everybody did enjoy it though, so hopefully this time around they have promised to get all the teams to me and all the names and all that good stuff. And yeah hopefully it goes a lot smoother and this warfront is about to be over with so i have to wrap it up there even though there's lots more i'd like to talk to you guys about it but as usual my name is grim and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and there will be a lot more content coming up about this and yeah 11 and 0 my teammate vetman went 6 and 0 all right guys i'll see you guys next time